Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck. Today we are gonna speak about how to make money in New World Aeternum. Uh, maybe you're gonna hear some noise. I got some people working on my house outside, but yeah, let's try to keep going anyway. So, uh, my first tips. Uh, it's a really important one in New World. You're gonna see there's some event. In those event, you, there's some special item. Sometimes some items are like almost random in the game, like the honey as example. During the summer event, you're gonna need some honey. So the honey gonna go sky high in price. So make sure that you are the one who are buying all the honey and selling it back, all right? Don't let someone else get it. And there's tons of items like this that you're gonna have to buy before the event starts so you can benefit at the start of the event and if you can log in the first three hour of the event it's gonna be even better for you you're gonna be the first one to pass the stack on the market you got you you're gonna have to undercut after that the people who are gonna try to undercut you you're gonna have to look at, at your stuff but yeah this is one of the way you're gonna do your biggest flip in the game if you wait for some event and benefit from it uh, now that I spoke that the item that you're gonna need, there's some item coming from the event, some crafting item. I must say, uh, there was an Halloween event in the past. That Halloween event had a special life staff. It was a best life staff, best in slot. All right. So uh, you you had the pattern to craft it in this event, and if you were not well prepared, you had. You, do, you you were not able to have the opportunity to buy a lot of those patterns and craft some beast life staff and then selling it during the whole year because yes those life staff the pattern uh, it was only available during Halloween and when the Halloween event ended the people still had the pattern but the event was ended and there was no way to get it so those people were still able to craft some best in slot life staff and most of the time it was the biggest team of the server that was just buying all those life staff just so to make sure that their, uh, their healer always had good life staff and if they had to change either they still had some pattern left to switch it so make sure to be able to buy those pattern before everyone do it before you and they're gonna go sky high and yeah benefit from that believe me it's one of the big thing in your world there's some event for everything there's a uh, sometime one month or two without event uh, but most of the time there's an event on like uh, you, it, you can imagine like the easter egg uh, halloween uh, christmas uh, yeah all those all those so uh yeah for the event you can imagine whatever you do there's some item that drop like the turkey to drop a turkey leg the turkey leg you can craft food with it or just sit it like that uh, that turkey leg gonna go iron price during the year too so there's something to keep in mind you can do flip buying uh, a lot of turkey leg and selling it later in the year stuff like that people do it all right people even find glitch to duplicate them so there was a, a lot of people who duplicated uh, some tricky leg and stuff like that and this is one of the main reason why new world probably fuck it up the economy a couple time because it just wanted the people to use all the resource that they gain uh, in a negative way that can impact the game and now that they used everything they are ready to restart fresh since there's no exploit anymore in this game so yeah uh, the Aesop is a purple plant, you're gonna see it everywhere. You take the Aesop and you sell it, you sell everything you get from the Aesop, you're gonna get money from it. You can craft a potion or whatever you want, the Aesop is amazing. When you're gonna craft potion, you're gonna get territory standing. And when you're gonna get territory standing, you're gonna get even more benefit. That's gonna make you do more money. So, we just talked about the potion and the Aesop, why not speak about the Azot water? The Azot water is mostly, there's a lot in the map, there's mostly in re water and uh, top left of the map, I don't remember. There's some Azot water, the Azot water have a good price, uh, you can look some guide about how to get Azot water, it's not a guide how to get it, it's just to tell you that this is one of the resources that is always uh, gonna have a good price because we need it into potions 
so yeah uh, the hide the, the loads here hide when you fight aggressive mob you can shoot them from distance and they're gonna come and attack you getting hide from from mob that are running away like uh, the buffalo and stuff it's a pain but if you take a crocodile as example you're gonna shoot it from distance and gonna come to you and you're gonna be able to kill it same for the white pig and any predator animal you see what i mean this is the way so when you are doing stuff like that you need to remember that you can use your trophy all right hunting trophy hunting gear you can have this it's beneficial it helps a lot so uh I've seen a lot of people who had some craft mods sitting in their inventory during a while and never used them during like 2 or 3 years and then I, I tell them maybe you did not look at your craft mod, maybe you have some craft mod that you can sell right now and they look at their craft mod and guess what, they do 50k in one day and then the day after 50 and till they have no more but yeah, the craft mod, you're gonna see they are like round and green and they are really like when you look at it, it looked like someone that worked something that worked zero buck. Like you look at the craftsman and you're like, this is, I, am I salvaging or dropping that? What is that? But this shit can sometimes value a lot. So make sure to store all your craft mod in one locker and this locker. Make sure like to keep it like you just look sometime on the market to sell them and you reduce your tax by getting some standing in this territory to be able to sell your craft mod lower all right so the most boring it's boring if you do it with like people who don't speak in the mic it can be fun if you would do it with friends who just want to talk you know speedrunning genesis you can speedrun genesis uh, 25 times per day and some people are already doing it 25 times per day, man. I tried and I, my brain just don't want to do it 25 times. After like 10 times, I, I just want to, to, to do something else. But yeah, Genesis, uh, you, you put like uh, speedrun gear, 5 constitution, and you just run through it. Uh, all DPS, no wheeler, no tank. And this is one of the best ways to do money in the game. It's uh, 25 key, I think, in uh, like an hour something like that i don't even remember because i don't do it that much but i just know like genesis is like one of the brain dead money maker in the game you're sure of what you do if you're running genesis all right and then when you get used to speed running stuff you can start speed running any ad and any ad you need to look some video or have a teammate or a friend that show you how to run any ad properly because you can do more money <clears throat> you can do more money into any ad than genesis yes but you need more strategy and if you die well i guess you wasted your time so you need to have some people who just know what they do it's not hard or anything they just need to do what to know what they do and it's the same thing in any dungeon in this game like try to know what you do and it's gonna be easier you're gonna do the low level dungeon you do it on regular you're learning it's fine but when you're gonna do hard content or real speed run you better watch content or have uh, someone who show you the way because just speed running randomly do nothing good all the best speed runner in any game are watching other people video to know the best strats to do the speed run because there's always been some glitch or whatever like uh, genesis as example always been a dungeon with a lot of glitch and we've been doing glitch into that to speedrun it to make money since the start of the game and like you know it, it, people are just doing it there's just nothing to do about it and you know i always been the dude who don't glitch or do any exploit into game but you know i'm i'm there outside of the exploit i'm gonna fight the boss and then there's four people i go with they jump into a wall and then tower inside a wall and I'm alone against the boss, what's gonna happen? I'm just gonna die. You know, I did it a lot of times, like just trying to fight the boss by myself and then die and then like are there laughing inside the wall <laughs> and then killing it. Uh, the boss is just doing nothing in front of the wall like that and they are just killing it from outside the map like and I'm dead they're looking at this from... Yeah, so when you see some people go inside the wall i guess just go with them there's nothing to do about that and the game cannot ban you for that uh, it's just dumb but you know 
what you can do. So, yeah, this video start to get long enough. Uh, if I may get more, I'm gonna do more episodes. You see, I don't want to do videos that are too long, so this is why I'm gonna make multiple money making guide. I already have another one. I'm gonna put the link into the description. So yeah, I wish everyone a good day. Tell someone you love them. Ciao.